Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mercedesa and welcome to all the new subbies and guys please do not forget to turn on your notification buttons that way every every time i post a video you guys will never miss a video again so today we are going to be talking about something quite serious and it's a question that has come up so many times and you guys want to know if i will be co-parenting now being a first time mom is something that i definitely have thought about and i think um I think making a decision to be a single mom does not come lightly at all and um i've seen some of the comments that you know as i've seen some of the comments that have been left you under, rude motherfucker. yeah i've seen some of the comments that have been left under like my videos regarding and if you don't know i stay fighting <laughs> if you leave a nasty comment we will have to fight in the comments so yeah guys so I'm, actually let me give you a warning right mm -hmm. if you watch this video and you feel it in your heart to say something mean, rude, or nasty, me and you will just have to fight. You might as well just leave your address so I can just meet you outside. I, I got time okay. for you, cut. I, I really have time because so I don't understand why you would have the energy, them, to leave. Somebody's being honest with you, yeah? There's so many people living pretentious lives. Pretentious Someone's lives, yeah. Someone's being honest with you and they're telling you this is what I want. Why are you going to then leave a nasty comment? Coco said anyone who wants to leave nasty comments, if she does, she will catch you outside how about that and she got time for you, Kurt. Otherwise, yeah. She said give me your address and your postcode and I'ma meet you there. Anyways, moving on. So guys, I just wanna be I just wanna be comfortable, I wanna be honest in these videos that I'm gonna be discussing with you guys, especially if you guys ask me the questions and then I reply to what you guys have asked me. So in the um last few videos that I have said to you guys that i am going to be a single parent i am not with the baby's father baby daddy whatever i don't like that term but, and i've seen some of the comments that you guys have some of you guys have left underneath my videos and people leave comments such as i feel sorry for your baby um every child needs a father um you know like just certain little comments like that and i just want to like address it in this video i just think like i just think First of all, right, I feel like with this co-parenting thing, I definitely feel like every child deserves um, a happy home. Every child deserves to be in a space where they um, feel loved and they feel wanted and, you know, they're given the absolute best by everybody around them. I feel like everyone believes in, this, in the nuclear family where you have a mom, a dad and baby and everything is all rosy and everything is all nice and everything is... It's just nice but in this world that we live in unfortunately it's not it's no longer like that there are so many different types of families that are out there and that's what i want to show you guys on my channel um on this channel we are very real we show you guys the things that are happening in our lives in real time there is no sugar coating there is no lies nothing like that and we have been raised in a single we are being raised in a single parent home and we have the most like yeah well. it's a blended family you guys know the stories if, and if you don't please i will link some of the videos that you guys need to see um in in the description box so that you guys can just catch up on and get to know us as we are so this is a blended family um we live in a single parent home and um our mother looks after us and there's no man in sight there's no man in sight and um unfortunately that's the situation in a lot of black homes lack male representatives or male role models men decide that it's okay men have decided that it's okay for them to just do their shenanigans and just leave and it's that easy and it's not any different for me it's the same exact situation for me and I am going to be a single parent. Now, will I be co-parenting? No, I will not be co-parenting. I will not be co-parenting because I feel like children need stability, they need to have unconditional love in their lives and they need to have positive role models in their lives. They need to have both positive role models, whether it's they're being a man or it's being a woman, like I genuinely feel like that's important. People who love them. Right? And I feel like parenting starts from the day that you find out that you're going to be a parent. You can't just switch it on and off. You can't decide, okay, I'm going to wait. Do you know what it is true? Parenting starts from the day you find out that you're pregnant. And in my situation, 
from the day I found out I was pregnant, I think in my situation, I pretty much knew that I was going to be doing this alone. And for most of us women, I think you just know. I think you know. It's something deep, deep down in your heart. You know whether you, you know, have procreated with someone who's going to choose to stay or you procreated with someone who's just going to be like, Do you know what, this is not my business. I'm not concerned. I'm going to go and I'm going to bounce and buy. And I think that was the case in my situation i knew that i was going i was going to go down this route solo so the decision to co-parent wasn't really a decision and for most um women it's not really a decision that you make you just find yourself having to be a single parent and you love your child more than the idea of being in a relationship and having it i think that was the thing i genuinely genuinely like thought that was the best thing for my child is to for me to just do it on my own do you know i feel like men i feel like men have this thing where it's like if a woman decides to keep her child if, so if a woman decides to make a decision it's kind of like how can i say it it's kind of like they need you to kind of grovel and be at their mercy for them to do something that they're supposed to do anyway and for me that wasn't really an option i feel like as a woman you need to have a certain level of pride, pride yeah you can't just be put like you can't just put yourself to a certain point where you're begging someone to do what they're supposed to do anyway which brings me to the point that you can't force someone to be a father and that was something that i was i was never going to put myself in a situation where i was going i was going to force someone to be a father it's it like at the end of the day it's your it's like that it's like i had a choice whether i wanted to keep my baby or not and i i made i made the, that choice on my own that i wanted to do this right so the same choices i had that person also had and if someone chooses to not be a father to their child you can't force that upon them so I feel like this is why they have like baby mama drama it's all of these things of trying to force a man to do what he's supposed to do and I feel like if someone comes from a strong background and if someone has morals and if someone I don't know if, if someone fears anything in this world or if you have a certain belief if you believe in anything I just I don't understand men that leave and never look back and like Coco is saying i feel like being a parent um starts from day one that you find out you're pregnant and for me as well i feel like if if you are a guy and you want to be involved in your child's life i feel like we should start that journey at the same time i don't feel that it's fair for you to choose when the right to choose like okay i don't want to be a parent now i don't want to be involved now i want to come like 10 years down the line i really don't feel like it's fair that um a man can choose to come in and out of a child's life when and whenever he pleases i just don't think it's damaging it's, for kids. it's, it's damaging it's damaging for a child to have a person that they that's my father but you can choose when and when no, you do, so nice. oh, thank you. when you decide you want to be and not be a parent, I think that's so messed up. Yeah, I think that was my one of my main problems with um, co-parenting with someone who doesn't want to be a father is that they think that they can choose as of when they want to be a father. Like for them, being a father doesn't start when they find out that you're pregnant. For them, being a father maybe comes on years down the line, months down the line, when and they get hit with a bit. Of yeah, when they get hit with a bit of conscience, and to me, like that's not something that I'm gonna put my child through. And I feel like standards need to be set and boundaries need to be set from the get go. Otherwise, we fall back into this whole baby mama, baby daddy drama where you're constantly fighting with someone and bickering with someone to do what they're supposed to do in the first place i'm going back to being raised in a single parent home i know that it can be done like it's not a new thing and i know i i'm actually surprised as to how everyone is shocked and how everyone ju judges single mothers or women that actually decide to be single mothers and i don't think it's a decision that comes easy because at some point you have to have a conversation with your child as to where where, the, their, father where their father is and no one wakes up saying oh yeah 
I want to do this on my own. No. If you're put in that circumstances, the most ideal situation is to have a mother and a father in the home. Yeah. Like, they're not going to be in the home. What are you supposed to say? What are you supposed to say? What are you supposed to do? Like, you can't corner. Your circumstances can't corner you into making a decision you don't want to make. Someone doesn't want it, they don't want it. Hallelujah. So yeah, guys, I agree with Coco. I just feel like if someone doesn't want it, they don't want it. And for some reason, men think that they are men think that they should be praised or men think that men think that they should be begged or men have this thing of feeling that we really really need them and we can't do this on our own and um i'm like in this house my mom is raising strong 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 black women and i know that when this baby girl comes she is going to be raised by three very very strong women and she is going to have an uncle who is a king and a shepherd who <laughs> really loves her to death like that's that i think that, like to me to me that is everything everything else comes secondary and i think as a parent it's not really my job to be worried about somebody else's decisions because everyone is entitled to making their decision so i don't want the youth to grow up having like daddy issues thinking all oh, men are trash yeah because their dad was trash so that really messes kids up it's like one saturday you come the next saturday you decide not to come the next minute you're doing that, the next minute you're doing this. Like, it just takes so much energy and... It's heartbreaking. It's about time we all accept that families come in all in all different... Um, families, like, are across the board, guys. There's no such thing as a perfect family is supposed to have a mom and a dad i feel like as long as a child is in a loving caring stable safe environment that is all they need in their life the support that i've had throughout my pregnancy from day one dot has been from my family i understand that some people um find that that some people like the idea of co-parenting and i think if it works for you that is fine but it's not a an ideal situation for everybody and it's not going to be an ideal situation for me and it's a decision that i didn't take lightly it's something that i really had to think about and it's something that i really had to give thought to because at the end of the day when my child is older they are going to be looking at me for answers and asking me why i made the decisions that i made i just want to bring up my child in a space where they know that mommy loved them grandma loved them um auntie loved them uncle loved them like i want to raise my child in an environment where they know that every single day of their lives they were really and truly cared for and i don't want them to be in a situation where they are being passed from this person to that person or to be in a situation where they are young and there's just so much chaos going on in their lives um at an early age where they don't really understand what's going on i was just thinking that i'm bringing a little girl into the world and i've seen um what can happen when you know parents choose to co-parent but one person really hasn't got their heart invested in the co-parenting situation or their heart is not really in wanting to be a parent to that child and i know how much that can mess a child up so i wasn't going to put my child through that in the first place i just think that children know what they know they don't know any better unless you know you show them something different or they are in a situation where you know they're not understanding of what's going on and um growing up i've definitely been one of those i've, I've growing up i definitely i had different um I feel like growing up i wish growing up I, I definitely wish not now but growing up at some point when i was younger when i was 13 14 i definitely wish that i had somebody who looked out for my best interest 
especially like after my mother passed away I, I i wish someone cared enough to you know want the best for me and i don't think i will ever make any decision that will cause any harm to my child because my childhood wasn't easy and my life is good now but it has not always been that way so bringing a child into this world is like such a great responsibility and i am taking it very very seriously and the decision that the decisions that i am making for my child are thoughtfully thought out and planned out and i have genuine reasons as to why i am doing them it's not just you know i'm not one of those people that will be petty or one of those people that would just choose to do something for the sake of it and you know just because i can guys i hope you enjoyed this video and please leave your comments down below as to what you think about co-parenting and do not forget to like comment and of course subscribe so yeah guys i will see you guys in my next video bye